Hello and welcome. It's Bill Sklodowski and it's time for iPhone Friday. Every Friday night at 8 o'clock Eastern Time, United States. Um, we do a little lesson on how to make your high-tech life easier, just like it says, with uh, iPhones and iPads. And for the last few weeks, we've been really digging in deep to all of the um, new cool tricks and tips that you can use to make your iPhone and iPad work that much better after the release of iOS 14, which is the latest um, software that runs your iPhone and your iPad. And um, if you watched, by the way, just Wednesday night, just this past Wednesday, uh, we mentioned that there's a yet already a new update to the update out. So iOS 14 came out. And then what usually happens is it's like, oh, we missed that one little thing, or we missed a couple of little, you know, dust bunnies there that needed to be cleaned up. So iOS 14.1 is out. And uh, if you haven't yet, go back, take a look at the Wednesday video, and you can see uh, to make sure to check on how to upgrade your iPhone or your iPad so you have the latest and the greatest. Today, though, I thought we would talk um, about the uh, Smart Stack widget. And if you remember, let's jump over to the phone. The big images, the big buttons are widgets, right? That's the new thing with iOS 14 that makes them so popular, uh, makes it so popular. And uh, what it does is allows you to put little miniature versions of apps right on the home screen of your phone. So like you can see up in the upper corner there, I have a, a widget that shows me some stock prices, right? Apple, of course. Oh, Apple down on the day. Oh, dear. Uh, Bitcoin up on the day, etc. But that is a widget in that you can also have more than one thing. Like this big one here where it says top stories. Well, that's the news. But that's, and we talked about this in the last Friday video, the smart stack widget where the software, the iPhone software, the iPad software, basically picks four or five things that it thinks would be helpful and useful and lets you put them all on the screen at one time. So if all I did was flick just ever so gently through that widget there, I would go through the news, I would go through some pictures, I would go through my music, I would go through some reminders, I would go through my uh, email inbox, uh, there's my calendar, and then I'm back to top stories. So it's just kind of a small little rotation or rotator of things that are going on. And again, if you're interested, go back to last Friday's video and check out how to set that up. You can choose, pick and choose some of the apps that are in there. Now, next step in the process is what we want to talk about today, which is creating your very own smart stack of different widgets, okay? So what I've done is, um, if you go on your phone, I've made space for it by creating a third home screen page with just one thing on it. So we have plenty of room to work with there, right? But you can put a stack, a widget stack anywhere you like. And once you create it, you can move it. And again, I think we covered that last Friday's video, but if not, we'll touch on it a little bit today. But briefly, uh, let's dig in and how do we create these stacks? So remember we said to get to widgets, just press long press anywhere on an open piece of real estate and wait for that plus sign up there in the upper right corner of the screen. And if you tap on the plus sign, now you're going to get the available widgets. And for some reason, now I can see them all. <laughs> Past few days, maybe that was what iOS 14.1 fixed. Because I used to open this screen and it would just be white blank boxes. So maybe they fixed that. Who knows? So like we've mentioned, there are some pre-made widgets, like the maps here and your notes here and, uh, uh, you know, uh, news, stocks, uh, your inbox for your email, you know, your uh, calendar, clocks, all kinds of things, okay? So first things first, when you're creating a stack of widgets, all you're going to do is pick one that you like and put that one out on the home page, okay? And let's, we'll talk about editing them. And then what you're going to do is add additional widgets, and here's the important part, of the same size and put those out on the home page, and then you can stack them up. So let's do that with this uh, big stock market one here. I know I already have stocks, but you know, play with me here. So let's take the Apple one, okay? And I'm gonna tap on it. And now, just like we talked about last week, I get my choice of sizes, right? So I can have a big one with a watch list with three or four stocks on it. I can have the you know wide one with a couple, three stocks on it. I can have the uh, watch list that has uh, three of them in a, in a small square. But I'm going to go with this one 
symbol list, right? So all it's going to do is show one stock at a time on the square widget. And in this case, it's Apple. So I'm just going to tap on the blue button on the bottom that says Add Widget. And there it is. It's added that widget, okay? So I'll, if you wanted to, well, I'm going to talk about that in a second. How would I change the stock? We can change that to anything. But let's keep going with this line of thinking here. So back to the plus sign, all right? And now let's do this. I'm going to do it again, all right? And I'm going to add the same exact widget again. Just watch this, watch it all the way through, and then you'll see my method to my madness here. I'm going to add it again, and guess what? I'm going to do it one more time. Again, add a widget. So now, when I hit the home button, all right, they kind of lock in place, you know. And I got three widgets doing the exact same thing. Well, that, so what, Bill? Okay, all right, let's say there's three stocks I want to watch. So Apple is one of them. So remember, we said to change the widget itself to edit it, long press right on that widget. And then you get the menu that says edit or remove or edit home screen, whatever. So I'm going to edit the home screen. All right. And now it's got the symbol there, Apple, but I want to change it. So I'm going to tap right on it. And by the way, this will be different, right? This will be different for different widgets. There'll be different things that you can edit and change, right? But let's, uh, who do we, oh, I know our friend, you know, Elon there. Let's do Tesla, T-S-L-A. All right. So there's Tesla, tap, we change the symbol. We're good, okay. So now if I just tap outside of that widget, all right, now we have one that shows Tesla. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna do that with the third one. Let's go third one, edit widget. All right, we're gonna edit this symbol again. So tap on the symbol. Now I do have a watch list. That's for the stocks widget. Okay, it doesn't matter. Up at the top is where I wanna do. I wanna search and I wanna pick another one. I don't know, let's say, uh, who else do we like in the high tech world? Um, I don't know what Facebook's symbol is. I don't know what, I think Google is G-O-O-G, isn't it G-O-O-G? Uh, Google, yeah, Alphabet is the name of the company, but their symbol is Google. All right, so tap on Goog. <laughs> and now, again, all I have to do is tap somewhere outside of the frame of that widget. So I'm gonna tap down here at the bottom, right? Down on the outside, and it's gonna move it into place, all right? So what have we done? We've created three widgets, three of the same size that show related information, three stocks. Maybe I own Apple, Tesla, and Google. Wouldn't I want to do that? All right. But I don't want them like clogging up the home screen like this. So now next trick, long press on any one of them. All I did, by the way, was I long press on that one, say down here on the Google one. All right. And now, instead of editing the widget, I want to edit the home screen. So I tap on Edit Home Screen. Everybody starts to jiggle again. And this is the same old trick we did when we made folders and groups of, of, of individual apps. So I'm going to put my finger right on that Google, and I'm going to drag it up to the top and drop it on top of the other one. And now I'm going to grab the Tesla one, and I'm going to slide it over and drop it on top of the other one. And now when I push the home button, you know, it's like when the music stops, right? Music stops, everybody's in place, and there we go. Well, where are the other ones, Bill? Now I've created a flippable, is that a word? If it's not, I'm, I'm claiming it. I've created a flippable widget. So if I just put my finger on it, I've got Tesla, I've got Google, I've got Apple. I've got Tesla, I've got Google, I've got Apple. I could do this with 10 stocks that I might like or, you know, whatever, gold, silver, whatever, okay? So this works with everything. So if I've created a smart stack, but I don't like the things that are in the stack, okay? Same trick. Long press anywhere. Wait for the jiggling. Plus sign up in the upper right. All right. Pick the apps that I want to add to the stack. All right, and then there's a whole bunch of them down at the bottom there, right? Maps and music and news and notes and photos and all sorts of things, right? And just add them to your home screen one at a time, right? Let's jump out of here. Add them to your home screen one at a time and then drag them up onto each other just like you would in the old days when we made folders full of, you know, similar apps, right? So easy stuff. Now, remember, we said uh, if you wanted to at any point, right, if I press and hold on that app again, all right, I can edit the stack itself. See, I've got a couple of new options now, right? If I tap on edit the stack, all right, 
I've got the different stocks there. All I have is three stock widgets on top of one another. But if I wanted to get rid of one, same as we did last week, I'm just going to put my finger on it and slide from right to left. And I can choose to delete it. Or if I want to rearrange the uh, order they're in, and unfortunately they all say stocks. I can't tell which one is which, right? But I could, if I just press and hold or long press on one of the stocks at the bottom, I can slide it up and down in the stack. And that's going to be much more effective uh, when you make your own stack of different apps, right? This just happens to be a stack, all of the same information of stocks. So Tesla, Google, Apple, all of the above, right? So what we've done basically is we've created the same as the smart stack that uh, the software, the iOS software did for us on the home page there with stories and calendar and stories and calendar and inbox and news and weather and pictures. So it did all of the same things for itself there. And just like any other widget, right? If I tap and hold, or not tap and hold, tap to open, if I just tap to open on it, it's gonna open up the stock app and it's gonna open up the issue, the uh, symbol Tesla that I was looking at in the app itself. And that works with all of the widgets and all of the stacks that you might create. So for example, I have a, a, a whatchamacallit, let's go to the music one here just to make it easy. I've got my music app as part of the stack. I shouldn't really say app, it's the small piece. If I tap on it, it automatically opens up my music, right? So there you go. So that works with all of those. And then last but not least, of course, if you're done with it, press and hold. All I did again, let me just show you that so I can show you what, what I'm doing. If I lay my finger on it, press and hold, wait for it. There it is. I'm done with you. Tap on remove stack down at the bottom. Remove stack. Remove the stack. And this is, this is always the reassuring one that I like where it says there, removing this widget does not delete apps or data. Whew, good to know. Remove. All gone. Thank you very much. So there you go. All right. Boy, that was that was fun, wasn't it? Was that cool or what? <laughs> I th I think so. I think so. Hey, if you haven't yet, by the way, what are you waiting for? Jump over here and uh, join our little tribe, our little newsletter. Every weekend, usually Sunday afternoon, I send out a, a newsletter to all of our subscribers, and there are over 300 of you. Thank you very much. Uh, with the latest videos, so you'll get a link to the Wednesday video and a link to the Friday video. So if you missed it. There it is. Go watch it on the blog at BillSkladowski.com. And also we have the free classroom handout. Every week I prepare a little, um, you know, kind of a little PDF handout of what we did on the Friday video to show you exactly how to do it. So you watch the video and it's like, what, did he, what button did he push again? Get the handout, print it out, keep it and save it. And, you know, you'll be able to learn it at your own pace. Just jump over to BillSkladowski.com right there and uh, click that uh, click me button right in the middle of the page sign up and get yourself all set for that and again like i said one email a week that's all we sent won't clog up your inbox it's going to do it for tonight how to stack widgets super impressive it's a good skill to have right have yourself a great weekend stay safe out there keep washing your hands i know i've always i'm always saying that but stay safe out there and if you have questions or comments please feel free to leave them wherever you're watching this video facebook youtube on the blog whatever i read and respond to all of them personally and uh, maybe that will be one of the subjects of our next video with either what's new wednesday or iphone friday have a great weekend take care